Hi, I'm Lizzie Molyneux, and I'm Wendy Molyneux. How do you guys manage to keep it so sweet? Every single episode, it's like you end the episode and you're going, ah. <laughs> it's such a sweet story every time. Um, you know, I think we just don't, you know, and I think this is the same thing on Bob's. We don't, while we can traffic with difficult subjects, we don't get into bitterness and darkness. I think there's always kind of a, a sweetness or an optimism that comes in to sort of save the day a little bit. And I mean, we are creating a tiny bit of a utopia, but I think sometimes that's what people need and what people need to watch. And so I think we always kind of have our our eye on that as we're, as, you know, there's times stuff gets in and we just go like, oh, it just doesn't quite feel right for this show. I yeah. love watching shows that have that kind of content and that kind of stuff, but it's not this world. And so we just always, it's, it's weird. It's almost like hearing a bad note on a piano. Like if we hear that come in, we're kind of like, yeah, that doesn't quite, that doesn't just quite fit. You know what I mean? So it's hard to describe it. I think we know it when we hear it or see it. Yeah. And I think, you know, we, of course it's a comedy and we, yeah. we love to keep, you know, so, you, you know, that's our goal is to make sure it's, you know, 22 minutes of of jokes and all of that, but I also think it's, we want to make sure it's a space that people want to be in, you want to be in, so it's, yeah. you know, I think for us it's like that, that cozy feel of like a, a people and a, an environment you want to be in and spend time with, so yeah. that's, you know, what we're always going for. Can you kind of tease some of the storylines we're going to get next season about the game? Sure. Yeah, I mean, we've got some really fun stuff coming up in season three. Um, we have a really fun episode uh, where the family and a few of their guests get iced in and have to be in the house for uh, for days, mm -hmm. and they all go a little bit uh, bonkers and um, <laughs> uh, decide to hold uh, uh, the family court. So uh, and they place they, someone on trial. Yes. 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 Um, and sorry, do you like another one? I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were like, oh my gosh, your brain just goes blank. Yeah, when you're yeah. talking. I mean, I, I, I I've literally one. never heard of this show. That's how you feel. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. You just go blank. It's absolutely wild. Um, we have, uh, there's a real, there was a real event in Alaska where there's a, a moose turd festival. So we are doing moose our turd? moose turd festival. Yes. So we're doing Lone Moose's own version of that. And then we also have something coming up that's pretty fun where Moon and Ham both enter what can only be termed as a boys sausage pageant. You'll have to watch to find out what that means. Oh my God. And then we do have a big two part season finale uh, this year. You'll have to watch all the way to the end. That's why it's a finale. Yeah. And Just for those who are watching, it's a finale. It comes to the end. And of course we do have another um, Halloween and, and Christmas yes. episode coming this season. So we're so excited about those, you know, sort of the lone moose version of, of the holidays again. So um, they're very fun and yeah. we're excited. Are there are there plans to expand on the Burgerverse? Uh, oh, that's what they're calling it. <laughs> oh, do you mean like more shows within the? Yeah, within the. Um, yeah. I know. I I can't speak for what Lauren has planned, or he'll get me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they are. Okay. Love, yeah, you know him. The red uh, no, is we, start yeah, yeah. We, like, we love Lauren, and like everyone else out there, we'll be excited if I can't say if he is, but you know, if there's something else coming out of. Uh, Obviously, the Bouchard verse, we would be as excited to see it as anybody else. So, hopefully, fingers okay. crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. No secrets about, revealed. Can you talk about any new characters we're going to see next season or any guest, uh, guest stars? We are. We're sort of expanding. Like, we're getting to know Lone Moose a little more, but what we're also doing is getting to know that Lone Moose has a very fractious relationship with the little towns that surround it. They're all rivals. And so, um, one episode, I think it's like episode 15, so it's a little deep in the season, but um, we find out that they have a big rivalry with this town called Ted's Folly nearby. And there's a big incident with them, and then ma um, Mayor Ted Folly is played by Wyatt Sinak. So we feel like that's going to be a lot of fun because we have our beloved Mayor Peppers, played by Ray DeWild, and finding a mayor that he has a rivalry with just feels uh, fun to us. So we'll find out more about the surrounding towns as well. Yeah, and then, yeah, I mean, I think we're also you know, just building out the town in general. You know, we'll actually, we're going to meet. Uh, more of Kima's family, we're going to yes. meet uh, Maud, you know, uh, we're just slowly building out our little town of Lone Moose and uh, yeah, a lot of new characters to meet in season three. Yeah. Does the imaginary friend of Alanis Mor uh, Morissette speak to your, uh, your, the way that you were when you were like in high school? Uh, I mean, 
Did you talk to Alanis Morissette is kind of what I'm <laughs> there you go. Um, No, I wish. I, you know, huge fan. I think she, uh, you know, I think she is such an icon and such a, uh, I think such a, like, strong woman who had such a big influence, I will say, on me. Like, I think I'm just sort of, we say it in our season, you know, the first episode that, you know, you gotta kind of take the butt cheeks of life and dive in. Um, I think she really represents that as, you know, kind of creating her own path. She's been around for so long and just been such a success and she's such an inspiration. So I think uh, I wish I had had that when I was 16. Maybe it took me a little bit longer to get there. Um, but uh, it's fun to... You talk to her now. Literally. I talk to her, yeah. Now you literally yeah. do. I get so very sweaty every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, about the uh, the voice cast, such yeah. you know varying uh, types of voice actors. Talk about uh, maybe a little bit of how it all came together. You assembled everyone from the start. Was there an idea that like, you had in your head like, oh, Offerman for sure, or um, you know Ron or any of the other cast? Um, you know uh, Nick and Jenny, we we knew from Bob's and from um, just historically, I knew Nick and Megan a little bit, so we really knew we wanted them. That was sort of the first. The first two pieces that fell in, and then some of the other cast, you know, we met Paul, Aparna, Dulce through this process, and the, and when we heard their voices, it also, you know, we had already written it, obviously, if we were auditioning people and hearing tapes and stuff, but hearing each of them kind of clunk into place, it, it was also like the qualities of their voices then influenced the way we wrote the character, mm. and also we have these genuinely funny people who write their own material, write their own shows, and so, you know, as as that goes. We also, you know, Funches, who's just like does his own job, obviously, yeah. great, amazing stand up. Is that like they bring so much to it that it's kind of an interplay of like they influence us and then we, we write it for them, but then the, their take on it influences us again to go maybe slightly a little bit off. So it's been a really uh, great process of finding these people who just fit the characters but also change the characters as they go. So it's been a really cool experience. This one we had on Bob's, I think, you know, they're also funny and do their own stuff too. That it's like, we, you know, we assembled a cast, I think that's similar in the nature that they could write their own show for themselves too and so it's like there's always that they bring a little something extra yeah. our cast does I feel like that helps that helps us helps yeah. us make the show well, that's awesome. yeah thank you so much thank you guys thanks, thanks so much thanks for having us oh, no. yeah.